helped me with my bullet test, and I suddenly felt strange? Well, Lika's analysis showed that the bonds between the bullet's oracle cells have... mutated. The bullet can no longer be edited or fired from another type of god arc, but it has evolved. As a result, it can do more than restore our strength. It will cure us of ailments as well. Lika theorized this change may be the result of a resonance, the harmony of our blood powers. Precisely. Our powers resonated and acted upon the bullet, just as our willpower resonates as our blood arts. Hence, this creation has evolved into a special bullet. A blood bullet, so to speak. Well, that's what Director Sakaki said in any case. And following that, um, he teased me, I think. He said perhaps it had something to do with my single-mindedness. You think so? I'm excited too. Lika and Director Sakaki were both ecstatic. In truth, I'm just happy I was able to help. I was hoping to test the new bullet and... I was thinking... Well, maybe... Maybe you could come. Okay, I'll wait until you're ready. God Eaters are in position. Watch for the enemy at all times. has given rise to a completely new creation. With a little more work, we should be able to expand its tactical potential even further. This is... incredible. Working with you, and all of Blood, and the team at the branch is so wonderful. Let's keep going. Let's take this even further. It's not just for the sake of study, or research, or practice. It's for us, to keep our friends safe. Hi there! I'm Lika Kusunoki, lead engineer working on link support devices. You're with blood, yeah? <laughs> You've been talking to Damien, huh? Don't worry, you'll get your device later. Promise. First off, we gotta go over a few things, okay? Thing number one. Prototype means still in development, you know? I can't promise how they'll function in battle. I can only conjecture. Thing number two. I'm gonna need your help with that. 
Testing stuff, securing materials, putting yourself in danger, etc., etc. Yeah, exactly. All right, let me give you the rundown. I need you to take this new link support device into the field and give it a whirl. The one you've got right now won't work right with your god arc. You'd have to choose combat or support, and choosing's no fun. But this little darling can work as a link support device without inhibiting your god arcing. Theoretically, it should be all kinds of freaking amazing. Well, that's all the important bits, so no rush or anything. Just drop on by when you're ready. Cool? Lika here. Hello? Hello? All right. Looks like you're god arc free about now. Feeling good? Good enough. I'm going to explain some more boring stuff, so just bear with me, okay? Your god arc is fitted with a cool prototype link support device. Designed by me. So, it's awesome. Super awesome. It stirs up all the oracle cells inside you so that your attacks can get even stronger. Ha! So weak! Monitor readout says your link support device and god arc are both synced up perfectly. I'll be here keeping an eye on your vitals. So, just keep on fighting. <laughs> this should be a hell of a show. Field transmission coming in loud and clear. I'm ready to support. Operation start. <laughs> your blood. You're the only one with a Voke. My working theory is that it acted like a catalyst. So here's the plan. We need to further investigate why it only works for you, and make improvements as we go along. For the moment, I'm gonna need all types of materials to get started. Can I count on your help? I can, right? <laughs> right? You know you want to. Nice! Hey, thanks. Really given me some new hope. Awesome! Man, I'm on fire right now. I need a plan. Yes, plan. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Come back and see me later, okay? I've got science to do.
Well, well, well. If it isn't Gilbert McLean. Haru? I can't believe you didn't tell me you were coming out to the Far East. Well, to be honest, I didn't know you were stationed here. Yeah? I must have mentioned it. Well, I guess I have been hopping from branch to branch. We haven't seen each other since Glasgow. Feels like a lifetime, my friend. It does. It was. I'm glad you found your way home, Haru. Ah, Vice Captain. This is Haruomi Makabe. We were in the same unit at Glasgow Branch. Haru, this is the Vice Captain of Blood. The infamous Blood Unit. I've heard tons about you guys. Sounds like you're tearing up some origami. The name's Haruomi Makabe, Captain of the Far East Branch's fourth unit. We're actually pretty laid back here. We're nowhere near as crazy as you guys in Blood. Captain Haru, I'll go on ahead and report to Director Sakaki, okay? Okay. That was the fourth unit's own Canon Daiba. She's got character, but not, uh... Well, she's not great. She may not be the best marksman, but it's tough to keep her out of my sights, if you know what I'm saying. Haru, don't get hauled before the Court of Inquiry again. <laughs> yeah, not making that mistake again. But hey, let me know if Gil here steps out of line. I've got plenty of experience reining him in. Come on, Haru. <laughs> Just poking some fun, Gil. Anyway, I should get to that report. Let's grab a drink soon, yeah? See you around. Let me see. Ah, here's the report. As you can see, maintenance performed heavy analysis and gathered fascinating new results. Allow me to summarize our knowledge. Blood bullets are... mutations. When we use gun form, our innate abilities react with the bullets in the chamber and create something new. They're restricted to certain gun types and cannot be edited, but they have unique traits. The basic structure of these bullets seems to be the same as the everyday variety. However, there's a mutation in the module that is responsible for these new characteristics. Uh, my apologies. I know it's a bit dense. Let me put it this way. Bullets are really basic things. They are propelled through an enemy to deal damage. Kind of a one-note tool. When a module mutates to create a blood bullet, it gains something new, something unique. And that tool becomes versatile. But these new bullets can do incredible things. What was once a weapon only for destruction can now heal us, siphon off poisons. I've been referring to such changes as mutant modules. They are rather impressive. Do you follow me so far? Of course. You'll find all the details in this report. Read it at your leisure. Huh? Uh, nothing! Sorry, I was... I was just daydreaming. Um... Just... studying like this? With a friend? Well, it's something I've always wished to do. It was always different with Dr. Rachel or Dr. Leia, and all my military instructors. I would sit alone and work. My teachers would stand before me or stare over my shoulder. So this is wonderful. I can hardly believe we're studying together. Side by side. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have sounded so strange. Ah, look! I almost forgot this! This is the discussion pertaining to the original causes of module mutation. Well, you were an inspiration. The feeling was very similar to you evoking my blood power. For the moment, that's all I have. I am suspicious.
Until now, I've always conducted my custom bullet tests with sniper rifles. I believe that, to understand their functions better, I need to test them with various guns. So I spent some time in maintenance and made bullets for each gun type. I learned quite a lot in the process, but not much about the practical applications, which, um, well, you see, that leads to my next, um, if you don't mind, would you test them with me? Excellent! Here we have bullets for assault, blast sniper, and shotguns. It should be fun! That's fun, right? Let's begin the test as soon as we can. I'd like to see the result of our combined powers. I think there's a good chance the bullets will mutate even faster. Are you ready to go now? power manifest in that battle. Thank you. I think a new blood bullet was formed in the process, too. It is as I hypothesized. The presence of your resonance increases the chance for a mutation. <laughs> Thank you. So you fold up.